Hey guys, Iggy here. Um, I figure I'd do a nice tutorial for you guys today um, in Cinema 4D. Um, I'm going to show you how to do something like this today. How the text comes from forward and then goes backwards, like in association with and that 3D stuff on top of the video and all that jazz. So, let's get started. What you're first going to want to do is, before you want to do anything else, you're going to want to hit Command N. If you're on a Mac, if you're on a PC, it's going to be Control N. Then you're going to want to double click on the material. And I'm, I'm assuming you guys know about Cinema 4D, so I'm, I, I'm not going to really go over anything with you guys. So, I'm just going to, it's going to be straightforward. So, once you open up, your material editor you should be checked on color you're gonna to wanna to go to there where these three dots are and you're gonna go ahead and click that now you're gonna to wanna to find the video that you wanna put your text on so as you see Zergriz has this or Platypus94 has this uh, video of Backlot and he's on Spectator so um, you're gonna to wanna to find your video here's mine I have this little Spectator on Ambush and when you select it, it's going to ask you if you want to make this image, um, if you want to create a copy for the document location, you can hit yes, you can hit yes or no. I'm going to hit now. So it'll just come up and it's fine. Now, what you want to do before you do, now you have your material. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add your text. So you're going to go to MoGraph text object and just for the sake of the tutorial I'm gonna make this presents and you're gonna wanna align this in the middle and now you're gonna wanna uh, rotate it to about you're gonna wanna make it directly in the middle as you can see it's dark here dark here and lighter here gray that's where your video is that's where that's where your video is going to be when you import it into cinema 40 to change that you're going to want to go to your render settings which is this button right here output 1280 is the width height 720 and save you're going to want to change this to quicktime movie if you're on a mac um, QuickTime Movie, 8.264 frames per second, 60 keyframe every 60 second frames. And everything else you just leave the same. And now, as you can see, it's got zoomed in. You can see it's a little darker. And now you have your text. So go ahead and make any changes you want to your text now. I'm going to uh, make a little, make the depth a little. Uh, deeper and put a material on it and I'm gonna add some caps uh, some fillet caps and stuff like that nothing big deal go ahead and render that if you like the way your text looks go ahead and keep it if you don't change it now um, because you're not gonna, well you can change it later but change it now would be a lot easier okay so now what you're gonna want to do this is gonna be the keyframing process um, you're going to want to have your text selected and you're going to want to uh, rotate the view a little so you can drag the text out of the screen so you're going to want to drag it out of the screen just like that and just like that so now that it's like that you're going to want to bring your little marker down here to about 15 and you're going to want to hit the keyframe button. Where is it? Keyframe right here. Keyframe. And that'll set a little marker down here for you. And now, de depending on the speed you want your text to come out, um, like this, that's going out pretty slow. So you're going to want to 15, like 15 to tw 15 frame to the 20th frame, that's really fast. So you're not going to want to do that. So 15 to 35. That would be about right. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to zoom it out. And you're going to want to bring your text back in. 
to where it started. Just about right there. You're going to want to zoom back in. And you're going to want to hit the keyframe button again. Keyframe. So now you go back to the beginning and you go ahead and play it and you can see that your text comes in just like that. And just to make this a little better, you can add a light. Um, go ahead and hold this light button. Ah, my bad guys. Make a light and bring it up uh, however you want to, however you want to change it. The best way, in my opinion, bring it in front of the text just like that. Um, once it's in, make it align. I got it a little out of line, but fixing it. And once your light's there, you can go ahead and play it. And I'm actually gonna adjust my light a little, a little more, just a little out more, just like this, just like that. Looks about right. Go ahead and render that and see how it looks. That looks really good. So um, now you're going to want to bring your video in. You want to drag your marker all the way back to the beginning. Um, don't worry about that. That's fine. You can just zoom in the camera or whatever.